Hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to show you how to make a tilt shift effect. It looks something like this. Pretty cool, right? It makes everything kind of look like miniatures. It's great with aerial shots and we're going to show you how to do all this right inside After Effects. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is input your drone footage. It doesn't have to be drone footage, they can be whatever you want because you're the creative artist. Anyways, so drop your footage in and then you're going to go to layer, new, adjustment layer. And then you want to go into your effects panel and go to camera lens blur. Now we'll mess with these settings in a second, but the next thing you need to do is go to layer, new, solid. You're going to make a white solid, hit OK, and then you need to pre-compose pre it. We're just going to call it blur, and you want to make sure to move all attributes into the new composition. All right, so now we're in our new composition, and here's our white solid. Now what you want to do is grab the rectangle tool right here, click, drag, and make sure it's a big one because we're going to have to blur it out in the mask properties. Go about here. I'm actually going to adjust mine. You don't have to make it a rectangle either. You can adjust this too to whatever you want, but we're just going to show you the basics. So then in the properties, go to MM, open it up, and you want to invert it. Make sure you do this or otherwise your effect's going to look funny. Invert it, and then you want to bring up this feather. I like to keep it around the 500s, 5 to 600 range. You pick, it's whatever you want to do for your effect. Now, go back to this composition, right? You're going to shut off the blur map. Now, in the adjustment layer, what you're going to do is the blur radius, I like to keep at 20. That's my kind of like safe point with it. Uh, you can mess with it a little bit, choose it how you want, it's up to you. But you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. I like to choose, again, you can choose your own shape, but I like to do octagon. And then for the roundness, I usually like to, you're going to want to keep that about 100%. That's going to be the number you're going to want to keep it at. The aspect ratio you keep at 1, I mean, you can go 0.5, but kind of for the drone shot I got, I'm going to just keep it at 1. Uh, rotation, keep at 0. Uh, and right here where it says layer, you're going to click blur. And whoa, now you're starting to see, right? I like to mess with the gain a little bit, so I'm going to I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. Up there. I'm also going gonna, gonna to bring the threshold down, though, on this shot. It's a little too much. I'm going to go... Two, and I'm going to bring up the saturation to 100. There we go. Now, see, what I'm talking about with the blur radius is see how it, you can kind of like play around with it. So, like 20 was actually a little too much for this shot, so I'm actually going to bring it down to about 7. Right? And then always remember to click repeat edge pixels. It's going to be kind of important. But other than that, there you go have this render out and it should look like this uh, it's gonna most of the time when you render it it'll actually be kind of this slow because it is kind of a heavier effect but when it's all done rendering which I'll skip forward to it should look something like this see it should oh, there there we go doesn't that look pretty awesome I think it does now this is a little short clip but it's a really neat and easy effect you can do to kind of stylize your own shots but that's it, guys. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Again, comment. Tell us what other tutorials you want us to do. And like always, subscribe for more content. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.